Okay, well, we've had a little bit of a change of plan here. Uh, my big yellow auger was grinding the grain too much. So I went and I borrowed this honking piece of shit. Uh, really doesn't look like much. But if you look up in there, it's a brush auger. So a brush auger will not, Why? it won't chew up the grain. So the only downfall to it is it's, it's real abortion, man. I mean, I don't know what the hell kind of tripod he had. It's just shit that he had laying around and he had a mechanic there and he went nutso with it one day and came up with this thing. Uh, all right. Beginning to end. That's what the dirty rye looks like. It's going in there. Real slow. I got it restricted so that I'm not worrying about it overflowing there. It's in the top. I'll show you the stuff going up over top of the screens here. When I get up here, it makes a funny noise. But there it is going into the metering wheel. Out onto the upper screen. Almost to the end where it belongs. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but look down in there. Pretty dirty spot. Goes onto the lower screen. Then through the fan. and clean. Perfect. Not a bit of dirt in it. Nothing. Perfect. I haven't found any bugs, so it's clean. There's really nothing in here. Uh, I did have some garlic earlier. I uh, changed screens and got that all out. So I'm not even worrying about that. The garlic's good. That is a brush auger. There's where the really light stuff goes out the top you see there that's some uh, light seeds it's all light seeds that don't amount to nothing and then of course we got the long climb up the ladder here now this works pretty good and there it is just as clean as could be beautiful though Really beautiful. That's a brush auger, so there's no damage to the grain. Great, works well. So anyway, if you're interested in rye seed and you live somewhat close to me, now that's for sale. Now that'll be bagged. You'll see a video on that coming up shortly. Uh, we're going out tomorrow to pick up my bagger. Uh, bagger conveyor sewing machine, the whole nine yards from that one. About 8,000 investors in that. So, but anyway, there it is. I see it for sale. Alright, this is all the crap that comes up off the uppers and the lowers. This is off the upper screen, the big chunks. Rocks and things like that. From the combine, there's a rock or two. You don't want them in your drill. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is, cat shit, something like that. All the lines and dirt comes off the lower screens. Here's the uppers. Let's see what we got coming out of there. Let's see. Just a bunch of heads. There's a kernel of corn, must come out of the combine. Uh, there's some of that garlic I was talking about. Right there, garlic. Uh, grasshopper head. Look at the size of that guy. He's a funny little devil. Uh, there's some stones and stuff Tim just picked out. And this is the bottom. This is where your weed seed comes out of. That's, you want to get that stuff out of there. So that you're not replanting weeds back into your field. It's not a good thing. Now my rye was clean, so there's really not much in there. A couple of... I don't know what these guys are, but... Some odd. Oh. And of course, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a stream. You might be able to see that. You can see the air, the, the dirt coming in through there, but in there, you can see 
see the air blowing on the clean seat. But that's that. They're going to rock. Anyway, if you like my videos, well, anyway, if you like my videos,